Hey guys, Noah here, and we're going to be our second part of our second flight of my new Airsoft Twin Otters Edition aircraft. So, if you look on the aircraft right now, we're at Princess Juliana. We're flying a 30 minute flight today. And right now, is it cold and dark suit the main exit opening? Open correction. Okay. So, we can go look inside the aircraft here. I pretty much gave you a look around last time, so we're going to go be inside the flight systems here. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn on the engine. It's pretty simple. I have all the pre-flight already done, so I already have the whole aircraft set up. So we'll just turn the starters. Shh. Okay. And here we go. Now we just do. We're gonna load the aircraft state because I don't. I just want to get it kind of fast today, so we're just gonna go to. This one right here, I'm gonna go and click set ready to fly and we'll begin to start up checklist. Here we go. Okay. I'm gonna begin to after start. And we're gonna go ahead and turn on our transponder which should be out here. Okay. We can see our throttles are back and they're back to idle. Okay. Transponder, we are going to go ahead and hop off for right now. So, we pretty much checked everything already. We're going to set our flight instrument here. Our cruise altitude today will be 6,000 feet. So, we're going to set that 6,000 feet. Okay. And our airport elevation is already set. We got this set. So we'll look at our instruments. This instrument is set, instrument set. Instrument set, instrument set, and instrument set. Okay. Next. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and test our fire. Fire test now. Good. Hopefully it should be on. Okay. Next. Okay. Now we're, we're going to be before takeoff checks. Trim tab set, flaps 10 degrees. Okay. Flying instruments check, they've been checked. Radio set. We're going to turn our transponder on now. Okay. Propeller levers full forward, they are full forward. Okay. Slack lights are on, we're going to turn our landing lights on right now, since we're about to go and get into the runway. Since it is raining, we're going to go and turn our wipers on, slow right now. Okay, I'll actually be to the right here. Okay. Okay. Next is going to be, we're going to put this in the USB. Okay, next we're going to do our uh, strobe lights, lights, caution lights is appropriate. Runway and ready heading is checked. And there we go. Okay, when we get to 400 feet, we're going to take the flaps up and all that. So, we're ready to go here. Now we're going to turn our feather on. Okay. And we're going to get ready to go. When we take off, we're going to put our We're going to check our flight instruments free and correct. Left rudder. Right rudder, good. Brakes, good. Let's start parking brakes here. Okay. And do okay, do some configurations. More mouse right here for a second before better. So. Left, down, make sure we're going down here, up, down, left, right, up. Okay, now we're going to make sure we're going all the way down. Go down, left, right, and up. Good. We're going to close the main exit.
Okay, now I'm ready to go. So there we go. Parking brakes release. And we're going to do rudder taxi, which means we're using strictly rudder pedals. Here we go. Put a little power in. And we're going to go this way here. Now I'm a little shaking rudder pedal taxi in this aircraft, so don't, be, don't, don't get all rough on um, in our flight submissions here. Let me move my rudder pedals back here. Yes, it's and so I have more space to work with. Okay. And I'm up just a little bit too now. Okay. Now let's go like slow down just a little bit. And bring back our throttle. We're gonna be able to take off on this amount of runway. And for the sake of time today, we're not gonna do that though. We're gonna go through a proper checklist. Sure by going off there. Correct that. Now we take off again. My wiper is working at max. We're almost at speed. We're gonna take off now. We're gonna slow down just a little bit here. Also, because we're gonna no. turn around. Okay. Off here, flaps down, all that good. Now we're just gonna turn our wipers on fast. Uh, and when we get up, now the way we'll turn it back slow. We're gonna go ahead, turn left here. Okay, good. Here we go. And for the sake right now, we're not gonna use any more rudder pedals. If we take off, we're just gonna use stick maneuvering. Here we go. And just at the back, we're going to go just a little bit to the left, okay. Almost to airborne here. Now we can just lift up the ground right about now. So we can go and get off right now. Okay, shows you guys the best climbing speed. 400 feet or so, we're going to go and turn that off. So we're already a lot higher. Climb a little faster now. Back just a little bit, we're gonna turn a little faster here. But we are the main person too. Now we're going to go ahead and just climb now. 
here's such a clear style, so it's a pretty brought back just a little bit so you can do some engine change noise. Good job. Okay. Now we'll be there in approximately a few minutes, so we're 32 nautical miles away right now. We're at 4,000 feet now, we're about to get our uh, you know, 6,000 more in here. Okay, 2,700 out here, we're going to climb up. Well, you're gonna hear a alarm go off when we get to a thousand, so. Three thousand. Two hundred there, we're about to go to three hundred. There's a return just a little to the right. Pull it back close here. Once we get 16 or so nautical miles away, we're gonna begin descending into the destination. It is a nice paper, and we all will add those, so. There, okay. Um, got a message. Okay, we're now at 4,000. We'll put a throttle here, we'll go max throttle so we can climb a little faster. You'll hear the change in noise there as we're now at 4,600. Make sure our instruments are in the green, which they are in the green. We're going to bring up our flaps. We are now, okay, at 5,000 feet, 1,000 left. And you're going to keep on climbing nice and slow. Okay. We're going to keep it going. 6,000 feet, 7,000 feet. 8,000, 800 corrections, sorry. And we're there. Okay, we're going to click Z. We're going to click Heading and Altitude. Actually, we're not going to do heading. We're going to take heading off here. We're going to turn a little to the right. So we get back on our heading we want to be on. Okay, we're going to turn a little sharper now. I want to be... This is the heading I want to be on right here, so click heading, and we're going to live on right there. We're now 27 miles away, so we're just going to kind of kick back and relax and kind of enjoy our flight view here. I'm going to show you a nice view of a little while. We should have leveled out by now. Okay. Our heading is off. What on, something went on there. Just got back up. And this end just a little here. So we went on with our heading there. I don't know what happened, but our heading did go off. So we'll head to find a little bit of a glitch here. Um, I can go and turn off heading right now on altitude autopilot so that um, we'll go and go along right here. Right now we'll be heading out to W Z. Heading. And we'll see if it works. No, we still want to go that way. It's strange. Okay. We're going to go. We're going to see right now. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. We're going to undo heading now, too, and we're going to do it our way. So it looks like there's a pretty big glitch in the system here at the autopilot, but, you know, all gonna, it's a relatively new product from Aerosaw. So you know we're gonna do Z, Control Z, and then Control H. Let's see what she does to us. And she's gonna go back to the actual winner at. So interesting enough. Okay, we're gonna go look at our um, indicator here. I'll just show you what we got up here. In our center panel. In our center panel. Center console here. Okay, so. So we've got most of our instruments here, our fire, if there was a fire, then you would pull that out. 
Here we got most of our stuff around Nesta here. Is that airspace? We're 23 nautical miles away, and it does look like we're getting a little further away. We're gonna pretty soon we'll turn. We're gonna fly the rest by hand now, how about that? Just cause. It's gonna be a fun approach. I'm there at 16 miles away. We're gonna I can find the approach. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. We got it. I thought it was slowly. So we're gonna begin taking control of the aircraft. I'm there to 16 miles, so I'll begin the approach. And it is an air salmon's liver, I guess, in case you guys are wondering. Relatively relying on my instruments right now to kind of see if I'm straight here and my artificial horizon is just showing me I'm pretty straight. Okay, we're hanging a little bit towards it right now. We're 20 nautical miles away. Landing should be relatively smooth. I have flown this approach once before. And there's our altitude indicator sitting right now about the brake 6,000, 7,000. So now we're going to go ahead and begin descending. This is really 20 nautical miles. 19 nautical miles. We're gonna put a full throttle here and just get there a little faster now. And let's get this. I'll look over there if you miss your to 16 here. We're gonna level out kind of straight here. Oh, okay. We're gonna overspeed there for a minute. But we're okay still. Okay, we're 18 miles. What are we gonna 17? We're going to descend at 17, just so we can get there a little earlier. No, we'll descend at 16. I'm going to show you guys the proper way to do all this. So. We'll wait till we get to 16. Okay, so. We're going to descend right now. I don't know why. Have you noticed? Alright, we're going to descend at 17. Okay, we're going to stop coming. Now, let's see where we're going to approach. Okay. And we're at 17 nautical miles, so I'm just gonna start to sit right now. Oh, okay, okay. No. And we're gonna keep on going here. Sure. It's T and C M if you guys are wondering. Just a standard, you know, FS flight simulator X F six um, GPS system. So you find right in you know most regular Cessnas that are instrument. Last cockpit Cessnas. Okay. Uh, now you see this big rocket. Let's just a little bit more. Let's go there. Okay. It should be over here. First thing, relatively fast. That is turbulence. Right now we are at 2,500 feet. We're gonna go and slow down our wipers just a little bit here. I'm just going to take off a nap and it's driving me crazy here. Now, who knows? It really wants to drop really badly, okay? 